going to show you a roller bearing. This is a NU roller bearing, meaning that the race comes out, has no shoulders. It could pass all the way through the ID of the roller bearing all the way out. This type of a bearing is clamped, meaning that it's clamped on the outer races in the housing and with a bearing cap. So it's secured. The opposite end of the motor has then got a lock ring or a lock nut securing it so that the back end of the motor is holding it in position so that the shaft doesn't move through it, passing through this, allowing it to be off center on the load capacity of the ring on the inner side. This is a particular phenolic. They're quieter, but there is different applications where you wouldn't want to use this, like in a shaker or a crusher. You'd want to stay more with a bronze or a steel retainer. This one right here is, like I say, a phenolic. They are quieter. Sometimes they're cheaper. For the average motor, they're not a problem. What I'm going to do now is show you also what's called an NUP, and it's a roller. This is an NUP roller bearing. The nice thing about it is it allows us to take away the, out, the inner race in a three-piece. So we have the inner race. We have what looks like an NJ with the shoulder on one side. We have the outer race along with a phenolic retainer. The phenolic retainer is, is, like I said earlier, it could be used in conditions where it would allow you to have a quieter running motor uh, not necessarily better for crushers though. Crushers or shaker duties should be pretty much steel or bronze. By installing this together and then heating this ring and installing it onto the bearing in front, it makes the bearing self-contained, meaning that it would be clamped in the outside, it would be clamped onto the shaft, and you would not have to lock the opposite drive in at that point. It would still be smart to put a snap ring or a locking nut on the other end of the shaft, as long as you have somewhere for the shaft to grow. So the NUP, completely different than the NU type bearing. This is where the bottom of the roller is riding. This is the top. As you can see, it's not center of the inner race. The shaft is actually too low in the housing. This is where we're making contact on the casting of the lower end belt.